Welcome back to Captain of Industry. My name is Nidaos and we are continuing on this new world. Uh, well, it's new. Well, it's new from a YouTube perspective. Thank you very much for your support. I uh, do love a lot of the content, uh, a lot of the comments about uh, this change of world from one to the other. I understand for the people who are like, oh, no, I wanted to see the whole thing completed on the same map and I've been following and it's not really the same. That's totally understandable. Uh, but I think that the people who commented that now we're here for the great designs and the explanations and that kind of thing that's that's exactly what we are what we're here for um i think that makes more sense and it's also the way that i can now proceed with this base as you can see we are continuing with the expansion of our solar panels based on last time we are expanding also to get more area down here as well uh, let's move all the way back through all of this base here and by the way for the patrons in the community Thank you very much. You will also have this map available so you can uh, download it uh, from from the Discord channel with all of the safe games from all of the games uh, I play. Make that available for you. So today, what are we going to do today? Well, uh, today we're going to talk about gold. It is the gateway drug to endgame. So uh, what we need to do is uh, me, we need to make sure that we find some gold. First of all, this map is called Golden Peak and that's because the middle mountain here is made of gold like a lot of gold so before you even start that you need to start working on mining your way in there you can see that this is the contour of the mountain and i've been sending these uh, giant trucks in here let's uh, get some of those overlays out of the way there we go we've been sending these trucks in here and man are they effective i mean they're even more effective if you turn up the speed i can turn up the speed even more and look how fast they go uh, I do need one more truck in here. I think I did send a few too many. Uh, but they take uh, 60 per grabful, and each of these can contain 180. So uh, what you can see here is you can see some of the gold ore. What I was just doing here now was just mining out this part so we can get in and get some more gold ore. But we can get more gold ore. Uh, I have set this up to be going to this location. Oh, I need to go out of this. There. So we have gold ore. That is the very first thing. And let's have a look at the gold ore. Can I actually do it this way? No, I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Ha ha. Uh, let's go for the gold here instead. Gold. There. We start. Now we start from gold ore. So gold ore can be dumped. I don't think I'm going to do that. But it goes one to one ratio for gold to crushed gold. Okay. Crushed gold. Oh, by the way, I absolutely love the fact that you can just click them forward and backwards. So many games only have the backwards so you can see what item it it can come from like satisfactory but also this one points forward and say okay what is this item actually consumed to so crush gold goes into more gold uh here that is in a, another crusher so it's crusher into crusher it is a basically a two to one so 24 to 24 and then it's 48 to 48 so we need two crushers here for one crusher here then we need to add a dash of acid and then we get gold concentrate and some nasty toxic slurry Toxic slurry is something we are somewhat familiar with uh, because we did get something else that made toxic slurry uh, over at uh, this build before, didn't we? Didn't this one produce toxic slurry? No, that was sour gas. No toxic slurry for us. Just oh right, toxic slurry was for the nuclear, uh, but that's not a concern. So we had it for the nuclear. That's the one that makes uh, toxic slurry. But this will be where we deal with the toxic slurry, and we are back to there. So toxic slurry we need to deal with. Uh, we'll come back to that one. Gold concentrate can then be mixed with sand and turn into gold and exhaust. That's really weird. Like, it's really weird for me that you take gold concentrate and then you put sand. Oh, right. But where's the rest, right? There's 12 plus 2, that's 14. How can it go into exhaust? I don't know. It's it's the way it is. So it basically is all the way through. The ratio is the same. No, it's 24 to 18. So for each 4 gold ore that we dig out of the mountain, we get 1 finish gold and that's going to be the objective now let's look at the gold what is it actually used for it's used for and then you can see microchips which we won't do for a very long time but why do we need it now see this is the one uh that's a super interesting weird thing that is done for a very late game really awesome and we'll have a separate episode just dedicated to this but gold also has another purpose which is really good is this one here so you can trade gold into uh, into microchips and that's how you can get microchips going uh, without that extremely complex process so at this point let's uh, have a look at how i want to make this well uh, we also need to look at the 
going backwards to concentrate and look at the toxic slurry. So toxic slurry has to use a filter medium. So we need to actually look, get filter medium, brine, and gives water and slag. So this is something we have to deal with as well. And uh, then comes the bit of a challenge here of how we are actually going to position everything uh, in this location. So I've kind of marked some things here and I think that it is going to, uh, right, let's try building it and then see if, uh, if it works. The first thing we're gonna do is the crusher part. So I'm gonna just send it here because that's a good place to start things. You will be crushing, there are two crushing, that's the gold ore crushed. And then actually, should I, no. If I press shift when clicking, does it copy the recipe as well? It does, yes, but it also needs to copy off, off. We really need that to be uh, a thing. And then I hold shift while copying. So let's see, this will consume 24 times four, that is uh, 96. And then from here, we're going to have this go into another location. And let's see if we can do that. Uh, this will be, yeah, the simplest one there. Okay. So I guess this goes further one out. And try again. Looking good. And you can then connect that one. And this will be then the last one. Gold. And you know I'll do this. Also. Off off. Copy that and get it in here. That's the beginning. <laughs> now, at this point, we now have 96 of the gold concentrate and we need to go into another thing. It's called, I think it's in a settling tank that we need to get it. Yeah, let's get it into a settling tank. How close do we need to make it? Let's make it three. Three seems like a good number, doesn't it? Yeah, four. Four, four is a good number. Oh, uh, Rotate, rotate. That one. And I'll get it here. This will be gold ore. And then we need some inbound asset as well. This asset will figure out how to get that later. But uh, again, off, off. I've been kind of burned a few times with this. So I try to avoid using it. There we go. Um. I think I'll actually get it one closer. Here. Yep. Okay, so now at this point, what do we have? We now have 24 plus some nasty toxic slurry. First of all, the toxic slurry, uh, how much toxic slurry? We just need a tiny bit here. So you have to go up. For sure, you need to go up. And out. Let's go out with you. So you go out and I will also need this part being, oh, that's, oh, wow. That's definitely not what I want. Here. And I have a plan. I have a plan for this. The plan being that we can make acid on site from the toxic slurry, I think, yes from the stuff that we already have. Okay, so what do we have? We have now the gold concentrate has to move on uh, from here. So gold concentrate, I get 24 and that needs to go into, uh, I have no idea. Gold concentrate, it is a gold furnace. Okay, well that's kind of making sense. If you see the gold furnace, just let me know. There we go, gold furnace. Well, that's probably gonna be complicated. And oops, uh, that it just did save while I was trying to do something else. Whew, this is going to be tough how much space I need for this, but I probably need quite a lot of space. Uh, this will only be able to take, it'll have to do both of them. So six gold scrap has to be the priority. And then why is the gold furnace? Oh, like this. 
there. We need to have a space in between for uh, the exhaust. Yes. All right. And that means I also need to get... Uh, this is a U-shaped... No, oh, that's a U-shaped balancer here. I think this is going to be a good location. So you go in here and then... That's not good. It would be much better if it moved one down so that it would be like this. Much better. One there and one there. All right, gold furnace. And then we need sand as well. So we need to get sand from the top in there. Uh, the reason why I'm putting this one in is because I will need to also get some gold scrap in here as well. So that's another thing that has to, has to happen as well. Uh, this one, I think I can actually make it a bit closer. Yeah. I think that's fine for this. Yeah. Good. Because then I keep this aligned. Good. Okay. Uh, next one. And let's see. That will be... Let's try to get make a line alignment here on what is coming in. I want that to be three distance away. So this will be the sand coming in. Sand coming in and that will then go. How much sand? Two. Basically nothing. So that's going to be the cheap one. You go up and then go into this location. Right. That one is taken care of. And then I need to get this gold scrap because we will have gold scrap starting to get that at some point, which will go. Now here's a challenge. It'll go in here, but it will also, um, let me try and, nah. Okay, I will get from here and it goes in. I need to get it into this location like that because then I can get it over. No, I get, need to get it here. Sorry for the background noise. Ah, shoot. That's not working. I did. Okay. So that needs to go just a bit further away. I am not super happy about this design here. Uh, F to make it okay to do that. Yeah. All right, that's kind of okay. Let me copy this part up to... Crap. Why does that not work now? That's as close as we can get it. Okay, and this goes out. This goes out. Ah, yeah. Okay, I, it works, it works. You come in here. You go from this one and you hit into, whew. all right. So you have two locations. This will be prioritizing inbound for the scrap and inbound for the scrap. But the other one will also come in. And the only thing missing is the connection from here. All right, that looks complicated. And uh, one of the things that I have requested is a more consistent or more sort of visible way to see things when they're in ghost build mode in uh, several different floors. That would be really nice to be able to sort of have slight color nuances for, for these kind of things. And if I do that one, then I will be able to get the gold. The gold, that'll be 24 gold, which will be more than enough for the rest of the game all right so you will be flagged as gold thing sweet and all i need now is the only thing i need inbound is acid in and toxic slurry out so i need to get toxic slurry out from here this is the toxic slurry let's get that somewhere and oh we also need a tiny bit other things here Okay, I guess I need to take you out. Yeah, it's a funny way that it has to be done, but um, I think it works. And then we need to put a smokestack. 
Hey, that could actually be copied like that. Perfect. That was easy. <clears throat> so we got the smokestacks. We got all that. Uh, then we have the acid. Now, let's have a look at one of these treatment facilities here. Uh, let's get that aligning it to here. And there. So we get the toxic slurry coming on over. Happy Toxic Slurry, and that will be here. So this needs Filter Medium. That's a new thing, but we also need Filter Medium for something else later on. Then we need Brine Inbound, and we get Water Outbound. 40 Water Outbound. We get a monstrous amount of Water Outbound compared to how much we get Inbound. Uh, so that's nice, and we get some Slag Outbound. So that is uh, something we need to deal with. All right, so the first thing is, hmm, I wonder what's on this one. Lo and behold, someone has already been kind enough to prepare from this slag here, or the brine will now flow all the way in, sweet. And all we need now is figuring out where we get the outputs. Yeah, and this will be 40 output, and this needs to go directly into a bouncer because I'm gonna be throwing some of it out there. And I'll be throwing the rest of it out. Uh, here, here, and go back. But primarily, what if we actually use this water we already have, plus some sulfur that we are getting anyway, and uh, make that into a nice little build here for acid. Then we don't need to transport it because we already kind of have it nearby. Let's do that. I, I think that's a nice idea. So I'm gonna bring you at this location. Maybe. And you will be uh, flip. And first of all, you are you will be making acid and off off. We definitely don't want that to be brought in. And let's see if this fits. Oh, perfect. Sweet. So that's the sulfur coming in. How am I? There we go. Sulfur coming in. Great. And warning if empty. So we get sulfur inbound and then we need the water as well. Should be simple enough to get that. And it'll just have to go over here and then into one of them. Uh -huh. Pick it up and put it down again so it snaps in. Great. And that gives us all of the asset we actually need. This. And there. And also the last one. Oops. F so that it doesn't care about that inner one. Wow. Oh no, that's oh sorry, right. this it's this one that's wrong. F there. Right. So that is now we use the excess water from here, get it in to make acid to go over here. The question is, I do need acid in order to generate it. So we're gonna have like a small deficit to start with. That means this one actually has to be truck import to begin with. Yeah, 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 it sucks. Now, only thing we need is we need some slag outbound. All right, that uh, should be pretty simple. I'll just slag it out here. And then that will be the slag out of here. We'll just get that to level two. Good. Slag. And empty. Warning it full. This one. Warning it full. Not because it's ever going to be, but, you know, it's nice to know if we happen to get it full. Uh, this will be the gold scrap. I don't think we have gold scrap. Oh, we do have gold scrap as a thing right now. We don't care if this is empty, we just want it. Right, now moving over to this location. Now this is gonna be like, how much do we need? We only need four filter medium. Yeah, so that's not a lot. We just need to build like anything here. All right, filter medium. Filter medium here, what does that take? Gravel, sand, and coal. So gravel is stone compressed. Is this gonna be looking like really bad or really weird, I think? Something like this, and you will be 
going into the storage. And then I'll get inbounds. This will be, I don't know, coal maybe and sand. Yes. And then rocks that gradually turn into, where is it? Where's the crusher? There. And that will turn into here. Do we think that works? Yeah, that's going to be fine. That will send rock into gravel. All right, come on. Work. Oh, it works. Oh, but it works. Sweet. And then... This one has to go... Like that. And then I just copy the whole thing out and make move it over. Sweet. This will now be filter medium. That one. And warning if empty. Don't want to do anything up or down of that. This is going to be, let's say, coal first. Input and that one. Sand. I know I have another sand, but I don't care. I'll just make it over here. This is a separate build for the filter medium. And this is rocks. Is that the right? Yeah, it is as close as it can be. Rocks, that one, and here. So all of this is now done. The only thing we're missing is the input. So what I'm going to need to do is, as we build this, I am going to, we need to make sure this is a belt of uh, fast enough speed. Uh, that is not fast enough speed. I think it has to be U2, this one. Here, and then one, two. Not that it really needs to do this. Could be really close. There we go. And I will then uh, need to bring this all the way back to this mining up here. And then uh, also what I need to do is switch the mining location. Let's see if these are... Uh, they are focused on gold, but they're not actually getting into the gold because uh, it's not filtered. So I'll just change the area shape like this. And that should get some of them to actually want to go to the one that uh, actually have gold in it, uh, hopefully. All right, let's, let's build the inbound here. And so the new gold line is already uh, completed going down the slope here and turning around, getting into this location and following all the way over, getting below here so that there is a opportunity for me to cross with the big trucks. And uh, that should be good. Now, only thing remaining is just this one. Please work. Oh, that worked. That was sweet. All right, so while all of this just casually gets built and uh, this is expanded up here, acid and acid now we do have the challenge that we don't have any acid production until we have water and uh, none of these can actually support any water trucks inbound so i actually i'm actually gonna set this one up so it generates just a bit of acid and i'm gonna set this up up so that it actually can take a bit of acid inbound and once that's done well then i hope that the whole thing will work and of course we're gonna get like a million things that uh worry about this but uh, not caring about it i actually do care about the one that got stuck but the truck that is stuck but I, i'm assuming that it'll just be better look at that look at the little busy bees here coming in uh the first thing that happens is well the construction of the filter medium which should be already in progress right now yeah there we go we are getting the gravel in once we have the gravel we get the filter medium the filter medium will go in here and then it'll also be working here we got the brine coming in we got the sulfur coming in here. We don't have water coming in for this just yet, but we will soon enough. Uh, this one should also get some acid. So either we get acid in here or we get water in here. Uh, either way will help us. Oh, that one. Uh, then don't go there, I guess. What's your problem? Yeah, okay, so you can't go to that one. Okay, well, I'll just auto-export that off. So if that's unable to reach it by truck... Oh, it's because it's level 1 over here. If we went up to level 2. So that means this is uh, really dependent on getting some input. Uh, I'll set you on. I'll set you on. So we need some asset coming in. Now, here's a feature that I have requested to the developers. Is that if I press on the truck, I can see where it goes. 
But if I press here, I can't see any trucks that are inside. That would be really nice if we could do that. I don't think I need more because I think I just need it to get going and then it'll sort of support itself. That's the theory at least. We'll uh, give it a chance. So this one is not going to work yet because it's not missing. It's missing any input. As we get some toxic slurry out, uh, the toxic slurry will go here. Toxic slurry will go here. Nom, nom, nom. Nice and juicy toxic slurry, I think. Uh, it will take a bit of time to fill up here. First, it needs to fill up inside here. Okay, now it's unloading. And it does have exactly 16, so it can produce at least one more batch of story. 24, sorry, it needs to ba produce two batches before it can even get started here. This is at 12. Okay, so I think it needs to go to, I don't know, what does it need to go to? 24. All right, so here it produces, that will now produce 40 water, which should be enough to produce more than enough water. Oh, I should be prioritizing this one. That's important. It's working. And we'll see the water coming out. Come on, water. There, water flows here. No water flowing here. That's great. Flowing in. And we now have acid production. Sweet. And we have acid production. Once we have the acid flowing out here, then we will no, no longer have any problems. And I can switch these two off. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. That water was, so, that acid was so close. Oh, well, I got the... Uh, Overzealous here. This is filling up. Come on, fill up. Truck can I reach destination? Yeah, I'm aware. Gold or concentrate. Now that's a weird thing. Uh, just recover. Don't know. Low supply of gold ore. Yeah, so they're not really supplying it fast enough. This should be focused on gold ore, yeah, and the other one, one of them could be not focused on gold ore, but we have gold ore coming in here, 180, and you are now moving into a better location. That will get us something out, but we also have still have a large supply on the belt. We like had 1100 in. We don't, we have a bit of this going. So what do we now have? We have gold processing here, making into gold concentrate. Gold concentrate is being switched into two different locations here and here working good and we will get the gold outbound so with the gold outbound why did we do that well as i mentioned the gold outbound is the uh, key to getting the next step the next step is actually making ah uh, you know what this is so good this one i want to build that uh i want to build it really close and instead of having the maintenance depot so that's maintenance two but we also need to make maintenance three because we're gonna need that later on. Where the hell are those maintenance locations? Why are they not there? There, maintenance three. Again, one of those things where I wouldn't mind it not being separate buildings here. So that will just go. It does seem silly that we do this, but we do there and then the other one will come up from here. And then I'll have this outbound. Why is it different size than that one? Oh crap, the whole thing is... whole thing crap is a bit off here. That's better. Eve, that was easy. All right, from here, one out, and then go in. And then it should be possible to connect. Right, so what is this? This is uh, just another build of, uh, here, maintenance. I'll switch both of these on, and I'll prioritize the one with uh, scrap. So that means get us, and that needs electronics, but electronics in and of itself needs to be built as well. That's a bit more of a challenge, to be honest. And I will also need to get the... Here. And where does that need? That is... This is the steel. There. So, steel comes in. And we need... Of course, some electronics too. That means we need to make electronics too. And I'm basically going to make it something like this. And I'm going to need to make it like relatively close. There. 
I am going to make electronics too. What does it require electronics too? It must be somewhere here. Yeah, there. It requires microchips that we can't produce and electronics too. Now we do have microchips because you, we can actually trade it. And if we look here, then as this accrues, just trade a few times, let it go up and then uh, go back up, back down here. So that means we are going to get That's the output, and I need to make sure that I make it the right place. Four. Get the cheapest one. This is going to be flowing so damn slow. Yeah, and the irony is that it actually only, currently only has to go to one location. So uh, let's... Let's do that there. That'll be outbound and we will have electronics three in here. Great. And inbound wise, well, the two in inbounds will be electronics that we have on the belt, which we will then take. And then it'll be on a, uh, let's see. So something has to go above I think this is yes this will be the microchips which will be never be brought in in any other way except this part I'll just request all the microchips we have and then I'll get from out here at one height that will be the electronics 2 that we have already built last time so now we merge it together Sweet, it works. And with all of this, we can just hook it up and then we'll have suddenly have some maintenance three and also this one. I want a warning for this, even though it's gonna be warning us a lot. So at this point, we get get the, th the things inbound that we need and low on gold ore. Yeah, that's known. We'll get whatever microchips we traded and uh, we can always keep it keep an eye on when this one falls down and then trade again whenever we have enough to our two trades that's something i would recommend that you always just keep going at it and these two should definitely be yeah they're off and we are now actually making electronics 3. now we don't have microchip production but we have micro microchip trading so as long as we can make gold and we have a infinite supply of gold up here and with the mining we have available, then you know what? I think we should be able to just get it in here. I think I'll just, uh, just for the hell of it, assign a few more trucks here. Just just to make sure we get back and forth. Now, looking at this, uh, this has to be empty. All these have to be full. That's great. Uh, this is sand and this is the gold scrap that we don't care about. And as long as this belt continues to flow, then we have a constant production of 24 gold per minute. That means uh, this enables us to do trading, continuous trading. See, it has fallen down. One, two. Ah, okay, maybe I shouldn't have done the second try. Tra uh, trade. Those will now be brought in here because it's filtered to requests and then gradually being converted into microchips very slowly, but uh, eventually it will. And that will be going in here for the maintenance three, which is something we're going to need a lot of. Well, not a lot of, not like a lot as, a, as in uh, maintenance one. But we do need some maintenance three for the next step. So with that, we've now unlocked the late game. And that's where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. Hope you uh, found it useful. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is a relatively simple design. Uh, it's very easy to get an overview of whether you take this in by belts or you're getting it in by supply here or by trucks. That is totally up to you. I really like this design. Hope you do as well. Uh, if you like it, be sure to hit the like button. If you have suggestions, ideas, leave them in the comment section below. And of course, for some odd reason, if you're not subscribed to the channel, well, consider subscribing. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care and stay effective.